Hello everyone, welcome back to our science year 2 lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to look into unit 6, light and dark. We're also going to focus more on these two topics. The first one will be sources of light. The second one will be light and dark. So without wasting much time, let's get to it. Let's go, jump, jump, jump. First of all, let us look at this picture. This picture you may find in your science textbook, page 61. Alright, let's read this dialogue together. Mom, my torchlight is getting dim. You know what does it mean by this dialogue? Lampu suluhnya semakin malap, right? And then the mom replies, responds to this boy's statement. Maybe the batteries are weak. Mungkin baterinya sudah lemah. We will change them later. Kita akan tukar nanti. Alright. Do you know what are the lady and her sons doing? Do you know that? What are they doing right now? They are rubber tapping. Alright. Rubber tapping. Menoreh getah. And why do they need the torch? Should they use the torch for rubber tapping? No, isn't it? They need the torch because it is dark. Hmm, do you know why is it still dark? Because it's still early in the morning. Normally, people went out for rubber tapping early in the morning before the sunrise. Alright, that's why it is still dark. Not enough sunlight. Alright, I hope that makes sense to you. Up to the next slide. Now we have come to our first topic for this lesson, which is source of light. Let us read this, this statement together. Light is an important requirement in our lives. Light is obtained from various sources such as the sun, lamps, and fire. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to remember these three sources of light. The first one is the sun, lamps, and fire. Alright, let us read about the sun. During the day, the sun is the main source of light. Sunlight is a natural source of light. Alright, as we know, sun is very important to us. Not only for human, also to animal and the plants. I can't imagine our life without the sun. Okay, off to the next source of light. This is the sun, okay? Very nice, isn't it? Right. Now, the second source of light is lamps. As you know, the sun is not visible at night. Lamps and fire give light to dark areas. Alright, as I told you just now, lamps is our second source of light. There are many types of lamps such as street lamps, car lamps, and home lamps. Alright, lampu jalan, lampu kereta, ataupun lampu di rumah. Next, the third source of light that we are going to learn in this topic is fire. Light can also be obtained from fire, such as the flame of a candle, an oil lamp, and a torch. Alright, selain daripada uh, lampu dan matahari, we can also obtain light from, kita akan dapat cahaya daripada Lilin, pelita, and obor, dan obor. Here is the obor. This one is pelita, oil lamp. Okay, this one is torch. Right, this one is candle on the father's hand. Right, lamps, fire. All right, what are three sources of light just now that we have learned? The first one is yes, the sun, second one lamps and the third one fire very good now i have questions for you do you know what is fireflies and do you think can fireflies can be a source of light you know right fireflies got lights from its body isn't it do you think fireflies can be a source of light to human if you think so why if you don't think so, why? If you ask me, firefly cannot 
be a source of light because it doesn't produce enough light for us all right for human it doesn't produce enough light to light up even a single room okay that's my uh, explanation on why does the fly fireflies cannot be our source of light maybe you have your own opinion just leave it in the comment section below all right now we have come to our second topic for this lesson light and dark okay boys and girls we can easily do activities in a lighted area all right if there is enough light bright enough we can do our activities easily such as reading doing your homework playing all right easily right or even you have your meals easy when there are enough lights what about if there not enough light or totally dark how can an activity be done in a dark area so think what should you do yes very good you can use this source of light such as torch light all right torch light from the lamp isn't it all right remember the source of light lamps all right such as uh, from the object uh, we call it torch light and then from the fire from the flame out of candle you can you may use candle or table lamp also source of light is lamp or oil lamp all right the source of light is fire you may use these four items all right to light up the dark area all right boys and girls it's time for our exercises all right you may take out your science activity book and turn to page 37 all right page 37 in page 37 you may find this page light and dark all right the first activity as usual you have to write down the date all right i will guide you how on how to answer this question okay first of all as usual always read the instruction all right observe the pictures and state the source of light state all right namakan okay namakan eh? state the source of light namakan sumber cahaya remember we have three just now isn't it the first one is the sun lamp and fire so which of these four pictures the source of light from the sun lamp or fire all right you just name it here you may refer to your book in page uh, to your textbook in page 62 and 63 okay and then you have to write the sources of light are remember the three sources just now i have mentioned it just now you write down it here we start with R, the sun mm, second one and the third one write it down here neatly okay now let's take a look at the second activity all right in this activity we we'll have to do some sketching okay it's a very simple one okay don't worry first of all you need hibiscus you know hibiscus bunga raya if you don't have one you can find out from the google from picture from books from magazine all right the hibiscus gamba bunga all right all right bunga raya hibiscus and then eye cover okay penutup mata uh, you can cover the things that you can put on your eyes to cover up your eyes all right okay you can you may use towels handkerchief all right and then pencil of course to draw the first one the first step draw a hibiscus in box a all right the first step you have to draw hibiscus here draw hibiscus here this is a hibiscus bunga raya draw a simple one not exactly like this it doesn't matter all right which open eyes okay dengan mata terbuka jangan pejam mata draw here all right open your eyes and draw a hibiscus here and then second step you have to cover your eyes both of your eyes all right cover your eyes and draw a hibiscus in box a all right with your eyes closed or covered you have to draw here in box b 
right? This one, box A, without covering your eyes. Box B, you will have to cover up your eyes, right? Do not cheat, all right? Cover your eyes and draw a hibiscus in box B. Try to draw, it doesn't matter. I know it's not going to be perfect one. It's okay. Next, question. Answer the following question based on your drawings. Right, based on these two drawings or based on these two sketch, right? We have to answer these three questions. The hibiscus could be sketched properly when it is bright, right? Bunga raya dapat dilukis dengan teliti ataupun dengan baik apabila ada cahaya when there is light, right? When there is when there is bright, cahaya yang cukup, you can draw, right? Because you can see, isn't it? And question two, the hibiscus could not be sketched properly in the what is it? Remember, bright and dark. So this one should be dark. The hibiscus could not be sketched properly in the dark. All right, in the dark. D A R K. Not enough light. All right. Number three. The sketch of the hibiscus in box is better than the sketch in the hibiscus in box. Alright, so which of these hibiscus is better? Is it A better than B or B better than A? So write down your answer here. Easy, is it? Off to the next exercise. Now let's take a look at your third exercise. Compare light and dark. As usual, write down the date here and let us read the instruction together. Compare the situations below. Alright, there are two different situations. This one is dark, this one is bright. On the left is dark, on the right is bright. So, what do you think? Uh, what should you put on this blank? Writing can be more presentable, right? Which means uh, more uh, which means nicer okay right when you write in when is it when it is bright or dark compared to when it is dark so you have to choose what to put here is it bright or dark writing can be more presentable when it is bright compared to when it is dark or you may choose writing can be more presentable when it is dark compared to when it is dark right something's not right there isn't it so you have to think and then you choose which one of these is your answer all right second situation playing with a lantern the lantern is more attractive when it is played in the bright when it is played in the dark compared to when it is bright so you have to choose whether it is bright or dark you got it now let's take a look at your final exercise for today's lesson all right the title is still light and dark here state the differences in the following pictures now you are given with six pictures all right six pictures three questions all right each picture has its own situations here now let's look at the first one the first picture on the left is already written for you there hard to read obviously this boy is trying to, to read uh, in the dark so it is going to be hard to read what happened when he read uh, with in the bright room of course easy to read isn't it easy to read so you have to write easy to read what about the second picture running is it easy to run in the dark in the dark should you put easy to run here since here also already given to you easy to run so this one should be hard to run very good and finally you have to choose it on your own here number three sleeping all right the first picture sleeping in the dark when it's dark sorry or sleeping when it's very bright here right which one is easy if you think uh, sleeping when it's dark is easy you have to write here easy to sleep here hard to sleep or vice versa here 
hard to sleep yeah it's easy to sleep it's up to you you choose you have to think about it all right that's all for your exercise today all right boys and girls that's all for our lesson today i hope you like it i hope that makes sense to you i hope you understand to all my explanation and i can't wait to see you in the next video see you next time bye bye